Hey guys, Jan here, codingwithjan.com. So when it comes to e-commerce, one critical aspect in terms of being profitable is email marketing. And yet many store owners and developers are not even fully aware of what's possible or how to get started, which would also be important if you want to offer consulting services. Now, in collaboration with our friends at Omnisend, today we're going to be covering why email marketing is so important how you can get started and then using the link in the description you can even get started for free by using their own platform and yeah without further ado let's dive right in okay so then let's get started with why email marketing is so important and number one is it's one of the few marketing channels that you can truly own as a business owner what does that mean so for example this youtube channel here is a great way to get in touch with you guys but it might also be taken away from me overnight and there wouldn't be much I could do about it because I don't own the platform. But with email marketing, you've built your own list over time and people gave you permission to contact them directly. Another very important reason is that as an e-commerce business or actually any, any type of business, it's usually very expensive to get new customers. Yeah, you have to do marketing, you have to invest a bunch of time Maybe you're spending on advertisements, which are also becoming increasingly more expensive across all platforms. So you almost have to be as efficient with this as possible. You need to bring back happy customers that bought from you in the past, or you want to be able to promote special events and special offers like Black Friday or other holidays, or you can increase conversion rates with automated abandoned cart workflows. And all the top brands that I've seen over the last years, like across the board, have always been very, very focused on using that traffic as efficiently as possible. And then lastly, the third reason, speaking of ads, which can usually make up a big chunk of a brand's marketing budget, you can also further lower the costs if you use your email list to improve targeting or create retargeting campaigns. And especially for larger brands that oftentimes spend tens of thousands or even more than that per month on their advertisements, even a few percentage points can already make a huge difference. All right, moving on, getting started with email marketing is relatively straightforward. You just have to pick a platform that you like. And in this video, we're going to be using Omnisend for one, because they also have a free plan link in the description. And then later, the pricing is always tailored to your current situation. So you don't overpay for features. Um, that was very important to me. Second, they're also top rated on Shopify and WooCommerce. I think right now they support over 100,000 customer. So, you know, it's battle tested. And you have all the communication tools in one platform like email marketing, SMS, push notifications, web forms, etc. And lastly, they also have a great support team 24 seven. And earlier this year, I even met some of the team members in Paris. Yeah, so there are real humans behind the platform, which yeah, I know sounds a bit funny, but I think it's actually important. And yeah, these are just some of the things that I'd be looking out for when choosing a platform. And I hope those make sense to you as well. So then when creating your free account, you might as well just sign up with your Shopify store, it makes everything super easy to integrate. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'll be using my small demo store here that I've been setting up in advance to show you the setup. So then after clicking the link, we can easily install the integration via the Shopify app store with just one click. And then we just follow the guided interface and all the setup steps. In the setup, you can also adjust the branding a little bit so you can upload your own logo file, set your own accent colors, etc. Or you can just do it later. Um, for now, I'll just save my brand assets. And then this is what the dashboard looks like if you visit this for the first time uh, with a few goals that we need to complete in order to go live. But of course, if you've been using the app for a while, it would rather take you to the overview page with analytics and important metrics, etc. Okay, so far so good. Then the first step to running email marketing is obviously collecting email addresses. Uh, but yeah, of course, you can also upload some if you already have a list or you can use some of the contacts that already gave you permission or consent on your store. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's create an email form in order to start collecting emails. And there are actually different kinds of forms, but yeah, let's first click this button right here. So this gets us to the form designer slash customizer. And this is the starting point, also adjusted to my branding colors already. And in here, we can adjust everything as we wish. So we can adjust the texts, we can reorder elements, uh, we can drag and drop new elements from the control panel here. So this is actually very similar to what we used to from the Shopify customizer. And therefore the learning curve is very easy. Now for the moment, I'll leave this on default and we can also see or create forms with multiple steps. So for example, you could also request the phone number in a second step or adjust the success messages, etc. And I think this is also a good time to mention that there are different ways to collect email addresses. 
So as a rule of thumb, you always want to offer people something in exchange for their email address because it's kind of private, right? So yeah, one common example would be a 10% discount code or something in that range. And of course, there are also different layouts you could use. So for example, you can use email pop-ups, you can use an embedded form somewhere on a page, you can create a dedicated landing page with a special offer. Or if you want, you can also gamify the entire process. So for example, OmniSend also offers this wheel of fortune here that we can drag into the form. Yeah, so this is like a small game where people have to spin the wheel in order to get a discount and then they still have to enter their email address in exchange to get it. And they also mentioned that this is actually one of their highest converting features. Uh, I guess this is for psychology reasons that yeah, if someone wins a prize, they also want to claim it or something along those lines. But that could be a very interesting idea to test on your store as well. Now to keep it simple for this demo video, I've reverted to default. But yeah, feel free to explore all the other settings here because there's actually a lot more. Uh, you can control the frequency, like how often you want to show the form or visibility on what devices you want to show it. Or targeting is also very interesting because with OmniSend you can create very detailed customer segments and for example divide in new customers and returning customers. But yeah, more of that later and for now let us move on and enable the form to start collecting email addresses on our store. And then with this in place, with the new form enabled, if a visitor comes to our page or to the store, they would get the email pop-up after a few seconds and now they could enter their email address, get the discount and we will be collecting the first contacts and yeah, this is literally how easy it is with the integration because everything else is taken care of. All right, awesome. Now we're collecting email addresses, but what if someone subscribes? Like what happens next? Excellent question. And usually you would want to send at least one welcome message or it could also be an entire sequence. So in the next step, it's recommended to create a welcome workflow. We can do that right here. And here it's also very simple. We can follow the guided interface. So here we got to select what kind of discount we want to include. Uh, if we remember the form, we promise 10%, so let's do that. Next, we can also decide whether we want to add an SMS welcome workflow. And SMS is interesting because usually the open rates are a lot better than for email. Um, from my personal experience, I would consider, let's say, a 30% open rate on email grade. Just my personal experience. But with SMS, we sometimes get these crazy open rates from, let's say, 95 or 98%, somewhere in that range because everyone gets push notifications on their phone on SMS pretty much. However, personally, I wouldn't add SMS to my welcome workflow and rather save the SMS for later if I have something special to promote. But of course, this can be different from store to store or what kind of offers you have. So yeah, for now, I'll just go with email only welcome flow. And yeah, as you can tell, that was already it. Two clicks, now the workflow is set up. But of course, we can also view the details and change things. Uh, so here we have a button, show my workflows. So here we have the workflow builder where you can set up all the logic. This is the trigger event. So when the customer subscribes to marketing, then we wait for one minute and then we send them the welcome email, which of course we can also adjust to our own needs and own preferences or own language. So yeah, on the right side, you find that menu right here. And this is the email itself. If you click on edit content, it gets you to the email customizer. And yeah, this is also very similar to what we've seen before with drag and drop elements. You can adjust everything that you want just by double clicking. So it's also very easy to generate good looking emails in here. Yeah, so this is how you create workflows. And of course, they can also be a lot more complex and with conditional logic and whatnot. Uh, but the really cool thing is that the workflows are automated. So you don't have to worry about them. You can relax and everything is taken care of for you. All right, now the last thing I wanna show you in this video is how to recover abandoned cards and how to create a workflow for that because that's also something with direct impact on revenue. So whether it's your own store or maybe one of your clients, I'm sure they would appreciate that. And setting this up is equally simple to what we've seen before. It's even recommended as part of the setup goals. So let's actually go ahead and launch a workflow to recover abandoned cards. So here we already see a small preview of the logic that is about to be generated. So if a customer abandons a card, we wait for one hour, then we send them an email just showing the, the items pretty much and mentioning that they sell out fast. Then we wait 11 more hours with a reminder and then another 12 hours for the third email where we give an additional discount. And yeah, here we can select how much that should be. So why don't we also do 10% right here and then continue with the setup. Here we can also decide whether we want to add an SMS workflow. Of course, this only makes sense if you also collect phone numbers. 
But for the abandoned card, this could be very interesting. Yeah, maybe just send the third email with the discount code or something like that. But you know your customers best, so that is something you have to decide. But for the sake of simplicity and this video here, I'll go with the email flow only. And again, that's it. So now we've created the abandoned card workflow and let's view the details. Here you can see that actually two workflows have been generated, one for abandoned cards and one for the abandoned checkout. So that gives us even more fine grain control. And if you want to modify one of these, yeah, just click into them. So this gets you to the same workflow editor that we've seen before. And yeah, in here you can adjust everything in terms of the triggers, the logic, uh, how long you want to wait, the delays, adjust all the emails and yeah, make everything custom to your own needs. All right, guys, and with that, we're almost at the end. I think we've already come a super long way here. Yeah, we've seen how easy it is to integrate the app with one or two clicks. We've been setting up a form in order to start collecting email addresses. We've set up our welcome workflow yeah, in order to welcome new users and provide them their discount code. And we've seen how easy it is to set up abandoned cart and abandoned checkout workflows. And now the last thing we have to do is yeah, start collecting more email addresses and send out email campaigns occasionally or if we have something to promote. And I will leave this part up to you because it also depends on what you want to do. And the only last thing I want to mention here is that for your email campaigns, you can choose from one of the over 250 starter templates um, so that you can get some inspiration here or use one of them as a solid starting point and then only adjust a few things to make it match your brand or your campaign. So yeah, overall, pretty cool. And I hope you can tell that I'm personally excited about email marketing because yeah, I'm also using it a lot in my own business. And yeah, there's so much more to explore in terms of campaigns, automations, audience segments, reports, analytics you can dive into. But I'm sure you already have a ton of ideas for yourself or for your clients that you can explore with them together. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show you for today. That's literally how easy it is to get started with email marketing or how you can help your clients do so. And yeah, as mentioned, I think OmniSend is a great choice because yeah, free plan, 100,000 customers, it's better tested, all tools in one platform, great support team, easy to integrate. But feel free to do your own research, check them out, link in the description. And if you get any questions, then yeah, comment field, comments down below as usual. And then have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one.